Today I'm gonna to share a few tips that I recently implemented in my short film that allowed me to shoot more interesting scenes in a very tiny space. The original scenes looked like this and after reshooting and making some changes they ended up looking like this. So if you're someone who's looking for some simple tips that can help you shoot in tiny spaces then watch until the end because this video will be useful to you. So the apartment that I'm currently living in is very small and it proved to be more difficult to film than I originally anticipated. For reference, this BTS clip that you're seeing right now was shot in a 20mm lens with the camera being placed in the kitchen counter. To me, it feels more like it was shot on a 35 or something similar. You basically only need 3 or 4 steps to go from the kitchen to the couch. So, one of the first few takes that we did looked like this. Honestly, the first thing that comes to my mind when I look at this shot is how boring it looks. The lighting seems very flat, there's basically no contrast, composition could be better and on top of it all, there's basically no depth whatsoever. This tight shot of me also had the same issues and not to mention the harsh shadows in the wall behind me that looked hideous and very amateur. So to improve this, the first thing that I decided to do was to create more depth. Adding more depth to a scene can make a huge difference on how your shots look, especially when you're filming in tiny spaces like this. So I decided to move the couch from the wall to try and create more separation from the characters and the background. If you're ever in a situation that you're filming a subject in a tiny space, try and avoid filming them close to a wall if you can. Even if you're filming yourself in a talking heads video just as this one, the more separation you, cre you create between you and the background, the more appealing your shot will be. As you can see here, I am further away from the wall and there is some depth behind me, which makes it feel more appealing. At least I hope. Same thing for shooting interviews, 9 times out of 10 your shots will look more appealing when you bring your subject further away from the walls. Obviously this doesn't apply to every single scenario, but I think it's a solution worth keeping in mind, as in my opinion it worked well in my situation. The second thing that I wanted to do is try and make my background feel a little bit more interesting. Now I didn't have much to work with, but I decided to use what I had and I've added a fake plant to the background, plus a practical light to make it feel more interesting. I think overall it gave a nice touch between the scenes and it also helped me improve the thing that I'm struggling a bit and I'm still learning, which is lighting. Initially the way I lit my scenes just made them look a lot worse. Like I said before, the first shot of me looked really bad and the shadows in the wall really didn't help. So after moving the couch from the wall and adding that practical light to the scene, I was able to implement a technique called motivated lighting. I placed my key light just off to the left of the frame and because there's a practical light in the scene it kind of feels like that's the source lighting me, but in reality it's only creating a rim light in the edge of my face. My key light sitting just off camera is actually the one doing the heavy work. I tried to place it in a way that I could create more contrast in my face by having the other side of my face darker. It wasn't perfect and I wish I had done it better to be honest, but my lighting knowledge is very limited and considering I didn't have much time to shoot these scenes, I think it was pretty okay in the end. Also if we compare the first shot of Joanna with the second one, you can tell there is some improvements but not as much as I hoped. After moving the couch from the wall, you can tell there's a little bit more depth, but still not enough in my opinion. I tried to improve it with lighting and I was able to create some contrast to her face by placing the key lights to the left of the frame and I let the practical light behind me do the rest of the job by lighting the other half of her face. Again, far from perfect and I wish I had done a better job at this and it also didn't help that I only have one key light and the rest of the lights that I use were small lights that I had lying around. By the way, if you're curious in terms of gear, I use the Sony A7S III with my Samyang 24-70 f2.8. Surprisingly, it was wide enough to shoot the scenes that I needed, but you should consider getting a wider lens to shoot in tight spaces, something below 24 like a 20 or a 16, so yeah. The light that I used as a key light was the Xeon 5-Ray f100. It's not the best light in the world, especially to use as a key light, but it's the light that I have been using in the past few months and I'm kind of happy with it, but I definitely need to improve my lighting arsenal for sure. So yeah, I hope you can take away something useful in this video. In sum, adding depth and shaping lights the proper way can take you a long way into shooting in tiny spaces like this. I'm also curious to know your opinions on this. What is it that you think I could have done better to improve these shots even more? Let me know in the comments below because I would love to read your insights about this. Maybe we can learn something together. That's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.